Hi, I'm Beth Stebner. And I'm Nina Golgowski. And we're here at Brooklyn's Greenwood Cemetery, where we're reenacting the Battle of Brooklyn. Now, as you can see, we are not in our typical reporter's wear. I am dressed as a colonial woman, um, full skirt, character shoes, very hot knee socks. Uh, this is what a woman of the day would wear to battle. I'm dressed as a typical militiaman. I have my nice garb here so I can run around, unlike what Beth is wearing. And you'll see me on the front lines. I'm going to be out there next to the troops, next to the cavalry, and uh, trying to fight off those red coats. <laughs> Charles Higgins uh, did his best to make sure that this battle was remembered. Mm -hmm. He started this ceremony. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt was here, then Governor Dewey. Uh, it was a huge crowd, and we've carried on the tradition ever since. How, how do you think everything went today? Well, we lost. We lost very badly, but uh, Americans were actually decimated in the Battle of uh, uh, Brooklyn, sometimes called the Battle of Long Island. So uh, it was pretty realistic. It was basically what it was like in certain pieces of this battle. You allowed me to fire a few times in the lines there. Um, tell me what you have here for your, your weapon. This is a. <clears throat> it's a Brown Bess. It was the standard issue infantry musket. So this one was made the same way it would have been made during the American Revolution. If I went back in a time machine to the Revolutionary War, I could have handed this to a soldier and he could use it just the way we used it today. That was truly something you don't see every day or experience. It was an extremely emotional and powerful experience out there on the field. I completely understand why these men do this every year. Uh, it's become a really great day to remind people of the history of this nation, how important it is, and how from then to today our, our soldiers die for us to protect our freedom. Mm -hmm.